These adverts that in reality are actually lying to us. Like this K dress. Take off the top. The dress perfectly forms around the base. This kid's got their own cake dress. And it's looking great so far, to be fair. And oh, no, it's not working. The whole cake came off. What about that perfect piece of chicken that you see in adverts? Well, it looks like they go ahead and get shoe polish and soy sauce. Who would ever think of mixing those two together? Painting it on top of the chicken. The chicken's not even cooked, but look how good it looks. I'm never trusting chicken adverts again. We put milk in our cereal, but adverts apparently put glue. Let's see if it actually works, though. Starting off with a base of just jelly, topping it up with glue, and then adding the cereal in. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, my gosh. Like, the commercial genuinely looks better. I won't be putting glue anywhere near my cereal. You ever seen those adverts where it's like a giant blanket and it looks so cozy. This person actually bought one and it literally looks like washed up ropes thrown together in a mess. Can you imagine if you ordered a blanket and ended up with that? Oh, wait, what? That's how they do pizza adverts. Wait, what, 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 what? They've literally got an ironing board to make smoke, pegs to pull the pizza apart. That's an impressive advert to be fair, but all of it's so fake. What about a tom- wait, wait, what? They've got literal juice coming out of a tomato. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can't lie. That red juice kind of looks like just the tomatoes bleeding. What about gel candle wax? Wait, what the? Pouring it in to make like perfect ice cubes or something. Oh, they look sick. Yo. Oh my gosh. They're so good. And they hold their shape. That's what they use in Coke adverts. Real ice. They just melted. This fake gel ice. It looks incredible. As with all of these things, you don't actually want to be eating any of them because it's all fake. Paris. Everyone idolizes Paris. Beautiful people. Beautiful places. She just walked out of her apartment. Straight up. Oh, 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 oh. That, what? Oh, rubbish. I don't want to see rubbish. I want to see the Eiffel Tower. What the heck? Imagine thinking you'd go to Paris and it'd look like this. And instead it looks like this. Barbecue, big, bold, Texas size brisket. That looks really good to be fair. Look how much is inside it. But zoom out. This person's ordered it. Bro, it was like a fifth of the amount of meat inside that sandwich. You've been scammed. Bob Ross. Get a Bob Ross statue that grows crest out of his head? This person bought it. It looks like he's balding with a few bits of hair coming out. How are the seeds meant to grow on top of a statue anyway? I mean, honestly, this picture looks massively photoshopped, so I'm not surprised it didn't work. Oh my gosh, this open house picture shows this. Looks nice, right? Few windows, desk, big open living room. The person went to view it. It looks like this. The crazy thing is, it actually is the exact same room. Like, the windows are identical. The design of the walls. Like, this is the same room, but they have stripped it of everything. Ooh, shaving foam, granola. Wait, I love myself some cream and granola and fruit. But as if they use shaving cream to make it. I mean, it actually sticks together so much better. But just the idea of eating shaving cream. I guess the yogurt does get completely squished. But if you think about it, an advert's trying to sell you a food. And they're not even using that food. There should be some sort of legal rule where if you're making a food advert, you actually have to use the food. Guys, Chicago deep dish pizza. I actually had my first ever deep dish pizza the other day. And it was a lot better than I expected. This one looks quite good. And this one, yeah, it doesn't even look cooked, mate. Pretty sure you need to pop that in the oven for a little bit longer. <laughs> Why is there only pepperoni slices around the outside? It's just cheese in the middle. Unicorn balloon? Damn, look at that thing. It's a giant unicorn. And in reality, it is the most creepy animal I've ever seen. But it does have a horn and some legs. So for me, that's quite a cool balloon. Oh, what? I didn't know there was a slide in Japan. I've just come back and I did not do that. Oh, oh, maybe I, maybe I wouldn't want to do it. Oh, wait, what? There's a bottle there? Oh, ow. Ow. It looks awful. You're not even sliding down it. And there's literally other tourists just watching you hurt your bar. If you went in a cherry blossom season, it would look good. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Look, this incredible spider mask on eBay. We've got a cop it. And he ordered it. <laughs> it looks terrible. Dude, the eyes are completely different. The design is wrong. 
Yeah, you got big scammed on eBay. I'd give that person a thumbs down. Treehouse. Oh my gosh. Look at the beautiful views. Wait. 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 What? Nah. You, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, the views are incredible. It's just a fan and a mattress on the floor. Okay, so this couple may have looked excited to be there. But there's no way they actually slept on that bed last night. Papadran's tree branches. Those look incredible. Like giant breadsticks. But they went and ordered them. Yeah, it kind of looks like they've actually picked up sticks off the ground. Those are the most irregular shaped things I've ever seen. The crazy thing is, it's kind of like you're just ordering the crust of a pizza, which surely is the thing that everyone hates, right? Noodles. Gotta love myself some noodles. Lots of noodles, lots of, lots of vegetables, nice sauce. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. What? Is that what? These cups are lying to us. They shouldn't be allowed to make a cup that big when there's only that much noodles in them. Okay, it's actually kind of sick. They're filming a pen advert, except the woman doesn't actually do anything apart from just hold her hand there. But look at the shot they get. It looks so good. Like what? The biggest fake thing about this advert is the hand doesn't actually move. Let's get a white claw cake. Bit of an odd cake, but you know what? Go for it. This is quite a good one, to be fair. Look at the detail. Look at the accuracy. You could almost pass it as a real one. Except when the cake came, it was just a giant cake with a sticker on it. It doesn't even look like a cake. It looks like a candle. I'll tell you what, I am never buying a birthday cake from an image because I can never trust them again. Guys, I need some ski boots. These ones look good. Nice and thick. Some straps on them, little metal caps at the end. And this is what arrived. A literal Wellington boot with a design on it. I don't know where you ordered this from, mate, but that could not be the official product. Oh, we all love a good burger. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. It's only half the ingredients, mate. Imagine ordering a burger and it gets delivered to your plate with half the ingredients and some sticks at the back of it. All right, hair conditioner, not edible, exactly. Wait, hair conditioner? What are you telling me they're now swapping out milk for hair conditioner? Nah, nah, that, nah, 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 nah. The glue worked. That just looks like some really gunky milk. Don't do that one. Definitely don't eat it, of course. But at least the food floats. Looks a bit better than milk there, I guess. Oh, no way. That actually does make a lot of sense. Just, just paint it red. It actually looks so much better. Like, you don't want to eat a strawberry that's been painted on, but it makes it look like you want to, you know what I mean? Put a tampon in water and then put it in a wrap. What? Where is this going? Put some leaves on it. Lots of vegetables. Close it over. And... It looks more filled. Surely there's different products you could use than tampons to fill up a wrap and just make it look like it's standing up a little bit more. I thought there'd at least be some smoke coming out of it to make it look like it's hot. That's the worst advert life hack ever. Yeah, has anyone else had it where they've got a beautiful piece of chocolate? Look how thick and luscious that looks. And you open up the packet and there's a giant hole in the middle. They've literally given you like 50% less chocolate because they've carved out that hole. Look at this lasagna. Perfect layer of pasta, mince, and cheese. And this person had just had their wisdom tooth out, so wanted something nice and squishy to try and eat. So they ordered it. And this is what arrived. Bro! It's like uncooked mince, a few giant tubes of pasta, and solid cheese on the top. I tell you what, I'm never trusting takeaway food again. Look at this pillow. It's absolutely massive. Looks so cute and cuddly. And this is the actual size of it. There's, there's no way. There's no way you ordered the same thing. Unless that girl is that tall posing next to this tiny little cushion. They have scammed you massively, my friend. Two peeled hard boiled eggs. Ooh, yummy. And even Rose, you could just buy them in a packet like that. Wait a second. There's one, two, there's three in there. That's a reverse scam. After you bought that pillow and it was way too small, this packet decided to give you not two eggs, but three. Ooh, I do love some pancakes, but pancakes and cardboard? What? Ooh, is that just... What? Why the cardboard? A little bit of cheese and strawberries? What? what food oil? What? 
Oh my gosh, so much of this is fake, but it looks so good. Are you kidding me? Normal pancakes would be droopy, and for some reason that oil looks so good, but obviously do not eat it. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Oh my... Yeah, wait, that's disgusting. That is dis... Oh, 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 yes, please. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, no, no. This, this, this is why even if you try and make the food yourself at home... It's, yeah, oh, yuck, mate, you haven't even cooked that properly. I wouldn't even feed that to my dog. Look at it. Ugh. This is how we shoot a Twitch what? commercial. Oh, what? I'm David, I'm a director, and for this shoot, we used engineering and robotics. Wow. doing it in CGI. Oh, this is real. chocolate is one of the most difficult foods to shoot because Ooh. it's volatile and tough to maintain at the right temperature. Look at it, though. <gasps> I always watch these oh, commercials as my a kid, gosh. so it was pretty cool to be directing. Oh, my yes. Taste, in the end, it came out pretty nice. So Thanks good. I love the fact that they showed how they made this advert and don't get me wrong they literally use machines to film it but it was real and it does make me want to eat a twix guys extra large dog pool fit your labrador in cool them down and let them go for a paddle <sighs> If your dog is literally that tall. I don't know what it is with products being advertised a lot bigger than they actually are, but there's no way, no way you could actually fit any sort of dog. Maybe a chihuahua, but not a Labrador. Glass bottom boat expectation. Oh no. Why are all of these cool things getting ruined? It looks awesome. Uh, uh. <laughs> what? Nah, bro, it's like two little tiny holes at the bottom of a wooden boat. Okay, apparently this is Oreo sushi rolls. Can't lie, it sounds disgusting, but let's take a look. Oh, 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 you know what? Low key, these do look nicer because it actually looks just like rolled up Oreos. Is this just, I don't really know what I'm looking at. This may look awful, but I'll take some and eat it. Beauty mask. I mean, I don't know whose face is going to fit that, but oh my, it's tiny. The only thing she's going to get is the outline of that mask on her forehead. Toaster grills, grilled ham and cheese. Ooh, that looks really good to be fair. What is it like a whole sandwich? You just pop straight in the toaster. <gasps> what? Bro, you literally ordered two bits of bread, some butter and ham. I mean, honestly, if you want to make a good toasted sandwich, just make it yourself. Don't buy one already made. Look at that. That's rubbish. New York. I love New York. $2,000 in New York. No, you're not getting much at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's all you get. But I mean, honestly, yeah. Oh my gosh. At least you have a sink. You don't have a bathroom, though, unless it's behind here. But that is wild. That's like living in a cupboard. That's how expensive it is to live in New York, people. Boxes. Look at this. You could be this super strong man with these really cool boxes. Not too sure about the design, but anyway. Uh, um, how big did he order them? Why do they go almost up to his nipples? What kind of boxes are those? It's my favorite meal. Spaghetti bolognese. I will just put it out there. Oh, is it bolognese? I hope it is. Oh, oh, no, wait. Okay, it's just a bit of cheese. Okay, that looks quite good, to be fair. I would definitely eat that. That's the commercial. That's the reality. But little do they know, if you went to cut into that, it'd literally be a giant bowl underneath it. But that does look good. Okay, so apparently there are air mattresses that you just swoop in the air once, capture lots of air, roll it up, bam. Look at that. You've got a giant air mattress that you can lie on. I can't lie. I've never seen anything get filled up just by pulling it through the air. This guy is on a beach filming himself trying to film it, fill it up. Look how many laps he's doing. He's like, please, I need to fill it up with air. Please, please, I need more air in it. And it's not filling up at all. Confirmed, these air mattresses are scams. Look how cool this Kratos mask looks. You can get a cool beard, get the little Kratos scar. This person bought it. Look at the size of his nose. His nose goes from here to the end of his chin. <gasps> Asked the groomer to shave a heart on my dog's butt like this. And look what they did. They literally cut out a heart. No. Your dog is ruined. My friend told me that packaging photos in Japan are accurate. So the picture, exa even the same size. What the heck? I mean, that one's not great, but it's pretty close. Dude, I'm telling you, Japan, not only are they futuristic, they got accurate adverts. Everything they are showing us here right now is exactly as it is. No scamming in Japan. That's why we love them. And just in case you haven't learned your lesson, when it comes to buying a cake, 
Watch out where you order it from because the reality can always be so different. Guys, if you want to see even more adverts that will destroy your trust, click on screen here to take a look at some of the scams they try and pull on us. I'll see you over there.